Let's take a look at wheel evolution. Look, this is a transition between a land mammal and a whale. This is what a scientist had drawn based on evidence. That is a powerful argument for evolution. Wheel evolution happened about 49 million years ago. But actually this skull is the only evidence on which the wheel evolution drawing was based. The part drawn white here was all that was found. It was named Pachycetus. The idea of wheel evolution was based on an ear bone. A what? An ear bone. But later a more complete skeleton has been found. And this is also a reconstruction. The parts drawn here are the parts that are already found. Based on this new evidence another artist's impression was made. This isn't very whale-like, is it? Nevertheless, scientists still see this as a whale ancestor, but they just added more steps. This is the evolutionary diagram, and this is considered one of the best preserved fossil transitions available. The next step is Embolocetus. This is how it is displayed in a museum. Again, we can easily distinguish evidence from fantasy. Shown like this, it is a mammal that is ready to dive. It's just a matter of display though. The parts marked grey are the parts that were really found. Again, the ear bone was one basis to conclude will evolution. The ear bone is inside the skull, so it cannot be shown. The will uses a specific ear bone to hear very low tones. Other scientists conclude that the ear bone of Pachycetus and Ambulocetus does not have the right shape to be useful for that though. Another feature that is considered very will like is the cheekbone. It is very thin, like that of a dolphin. Well, actually it isn't, but we can just say it is. The cheekbone of a horse is closer to that of a dolphin. The next step is Rhodocetus. This is the most important step in wheel evolution. This really is the mammal with flippers. So it is the real transition between mammals and whales. Rhodocetus now takes the position that Pachycetus used to have. Unfortunately, this is an artist impression. This is the real evidence. All the rest is not. The next two, Dorudon and Bacillosaurus, were probably just really swimming creatures based on the evidence. That's fine. Bacillosaurus has a tiny bone at its rear end, just like modern whales still have today. It's often stated that this is a worthless leg left over. But it is actually a functional anchor that holds organs and it's gender dependent. And it's not attached to the spine, which legs are. And now for the final step. From this point, Bacillosaurus is almost identical to the baleen whale.